Hey guys, it's Caleb at Tecton, and today I'm going to show you how to use your Tecton micrometer torque wrench. This procedure applies to all drive sizes, but in this video I'm going to show you on our 3 8 inch drive model. You'll notice the main scale here is on the handle body, and the micrometer scale is on the knurled handle. So to set your desired torque value, which in our case is 80 foot-pounds, pull down on the locking collar here, and then twist the handle until you reach your desired torque value. We're going to keep twisting the handle until the top edge of the knurled handle aligns with the 80 foot-pound mark on the main scale and the zero on the micrometer scale aligns with the vertical line of the main scale. At this point, make sure the locking collar pops back up into place and then go ahead and twist that handle back and forth to make sure your torque value is locked in and we're ready to torque our fastener. Alright guys, our torque wrench is set for 80 foot-pounds and we're ready to torque the rear axle on this dirt bike. So go ahead and attach your socket to the drive tang of the torque wrench and make sure you're in the tightening direction. And then when you grip the torque wrench, make sure to grip it centered on the groove in the handle here. So kind of place the middle of your palm or your middle finger over that groove and that's where you push or pull on during torque. Now in this case, I'll have to use a backer wrench to hold the other side of the axle. Then I'm going to go ahead and apply torque. So I'm waiting for a click and the handle will move as well when you reach your torque value. Okay, so once the torque wrench clicks like that, you know you've reached your torque value. Don't apply any more torque after that or you might over torque your fastener. When you're done using your torque wrench for a while, make sure to set it at the lowest torque setting. It tells you right here what to store it at, which is 10 foot pounds in this case for the 3 8 inch drive. Let's go ahead and set it down to that value and place it back in the case. So using a torque wrench with a socket is fairly straightforward, but what if you need to use a crow foot wrench, a torque adapter, or a service wrench? Well, there's a couple of things to be aware of. If you're using your crow foot wrench or torque adapter at an angle of 90 degrees relative to the handle, then you're actually good to go. You don't need to make any offsets or adjustments. You can simply set your torque wrench to the desired torque spec and use it as is. But if your crow foot wrench or torque adapter is either behind the drive tang like this or in front of the drive tang like this, then you do need to make a calculation to offset for that distance because you've essentially lengthened the handle or you've taken distance away from the handle. We have a blog post on Tecton.com that we'll link in the description that walks you through exactly how to do this. And if you have further questions, then reach out to us at Tecton.com support.